Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Farming Simulator 22 on the Elk Mountain, Wyoming map. We just got done seeding. The helper had trouble. I had to restart the helper, I don't know, four or five times. So we may need to terraform this a little, or if we don't see improvement, maybe jump to using course play sooner or some other way of getting helpers to do or to do the field work for us. Let's uh, let's refill our cedar before we take it back. And then uh, I mentioned at the end of last episode that I was going to run some errands in between. I didn't. We're going to do that together. So let's take this. Uh, we'll take the cedar back. We'll run it by our workshop and get it repaired so that all of our equipment is up to snuff. And then we will uh, wash it and put it away. Once that's done, we'll take something to the dealer to sell. Maybe that auger straight ahead. It'll be a little extra cash for us too, which can't hurt. All right, let's pop in here. And repair. Uh, but look at our tractor needs repair too. 11,000. Let's do it. I don't know if this makes sense to do, but I'm going to do it just for immersion sake. And then we're going to repair the cedar as well. And we're going to wash them both. Tractor's not in bad shape, but we'll do them both. Park here out in front of our sprayer, power washer, and let's get to cleaning this guy off. Not too bad. It's looking pretty good already, actually. Get our tractor. It's been doing a good job for us. I mentioned in a previous episode, we could upgrade the engine on this thing. I think at some point when we're flush with cash, we may just do that. Keep this tractor around. This is the first one we got to use. All right, let's put away our cedar. I'm going to get into third person view for this. How do we have it? Wonder if I can just pull through right here. Oh, that's not looking so good yet. Good enough for me. Let's hook up to this auger and sell it. We'll see what we can get for it. Probably not too much. And then we can bring our wagon back. Oops, I had it. Yeah, when I was first playing with this, I mean, I was didn't see a way to hook up. But uh, look for some videos on the internet and found, or on YouTube and found one. Watch out, little deer. Oh, no. Oh, man, the horror. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that's a shame. <laughs> but it looks like they all survived, so that's good. They've got a better chance of surviving than me with this driving. Watch the sign. All right, we'll get this taken back and then uh, we'll bring the trailer back. And then we will head over to another forestry area that we own. There's a big part that we own. We talked about this last episode. It's kind of north of the river, north of where the uh, logging is that we've been doing. And then there's a part just north of that I discovered that has some logs too, or trees that are ready to harvest, but we don't own it. However, it's only like $45,000, so I'm thinking we should just buy it. It's got a few more trees on it. It's nice flat land. Uh, we'll see that in a little bit. First, we got to take this back. I wish there was a convenient shortcut, but we can't really get around the river. 
Hop in. Can't drive as crazy in the tractor. It only goes 32, 33 miles an hour. Definitely a lot of forestry on this map, but we're going to do plenty of farming too. Then I think the next thing we're going to run into is maybe the weeding. We've turned off the field stones. So we don't have to worry about those. Not a super big fan of that feature. Oh boy, I shouldn't have made this... Uh, Earn. Oh, sorry for the damage. Send me the bill. What is it? A quarter to... What is that? A quarter to five in game. 5 p.m. We're at 263,000. We did buy the carpentry business the last episode and dropped over some dropped off some logs there. We can do planks once we get some from the um, sawmill. Dealer should be coming up here on the left. I'm doing okay on gas. I don't know if it's worth repairing this device before we sell it. Maybe we w maybe we will. Not sure if that's a good use of cash or not to repair right before you sell. Did I just pass it? I think I did. Back up as straight as we can. Oop, we got a car behind us. That's as far as we're going to be able to go. There's the trailer we wanted to pick up. Drop this guy off. I think we can sell here, right? Uh, we're 830. Let's just repair it and then uh, we'll sell it. What are we going to get? Yeah, what do we get? Uh, we get 12,000, 12 and a half thousand. Not bad. I'll take it. We'll use that to buy um, some type of silo or grain bin later on. Yeah, come on. We are going to hook up to this and head back. Take the back way. Let's do it. It's a little prettier. We can see a little more of the map here. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a house or a business? Looks like a business. Front door does. Not too much going on in town here. Kind of quiet. Oh. I went to a dead end. Well, at least we're seeing this little, uh, port here. More homes. Be a good place for collectibles to be hidden. I don't think there's a whole lot on the map, just those antlers. But this would be a cool place to run around and look for the little toy figurines. Should we get gas? I suppose we can. We're in pretty good shape, but let's do it. Shouldn't be too much. We're fully repaired, fully gassed up. Now we're in good shape. $156 for fuel.
We've actually got a working fuel station right here, right at the entrance to our farm. Older one, but it is functional. And then we've got a huge fuel tank on our farm. We haven't filled that up yet. Almost don't need to. We probably will eventually. Back we go. Look at those mountains. Looks pretty cool. Cool. If there's some kind of fishing or something we could do in the river itself and interact with it a little more. Other than just driving around it, <laughs> trying to find our way into town. Big fence here on the right and left. Winding road up into the trees. Looks pretty cool. We talked a couple episodes ago about maybe buying this plot of land right there. There's an open prairie along with a couple fields. I'm sure we're going to get to that because our farm equipment is all pretty much in close proximity to that area. So that would make sense for us to buy those fields. And maybe create a field in that open land. All right, let's find a home for this guy. How about straight ahead? I don't know if this is going to be a little too small. And I got a big thing in the other side too, but let's see. That's pushing it, right? That's pushing it, I think. Let's see if I can get it next to these guys. You're going to take some practice. It's been a while. I'll take it. Not bad. I'm going to call that a win. All right. We need to just... Find our pickup truck. We, if I don't see it, we may just tab to it. Let's leave this guy in the shop out of the elements and tab our way over to our pickup. There it is. Let's hop in here. In fact, you know what? Let's take the semi because we're going to need this for logs. We're going to cut some trees down. We need to go to the other area. I did take out some trees, actually. Let's go collect them up. Towards the end of the last episode, we cut some down right by the railroad tracks. There was, I think, four trees, four more trees I took down, and then I moved the ponds across the river where we're about to go. But there's a... Jeez, my driving. Inexcusable. Let's, uh, let's pick up these logs that I harvested. We can just sell them off at the, at the heating plant here on our way to the other forestry area. And then I'll show you that little plot of land that's like 45,000. I think we should just do it. We should just buy it. We'll make that in a few trips. Out of load, switch to the left is O, and then what? B. Love the auto load trailer. Could do it manually. It's it is fun, but man, it it takes the time to do it with the uh, like log forks or something. Man, but it is fun if you're into the realism and you've got the time. It is pretty cool. 
Just I'm going to side for a little more of an arcade-like experience so we can keep things moving. Don't tell me you're stuck on the tracks again. Look at that. Just in the nick of time. We improved the little dirt pile here, but this truck would not have problems. Man, it, that's fine. We're not going to do much more logging over here, if at all, across those tracks. So it may be a non-issue going forward. All right, this guy has, what, two-thirds of tank of gas? Maintenance is all right. Drop these off at the heating plant. We'll see how much we get. They go 23,000. So you can kind of get a feel for why I want to do the forestry. It's a little, and it's not little, it's a lot faster. Assuming you've got mature trees to cut down. So we're going to need to do some replanting. Eventually the mature, the supply of mature trees is going to run out as we cut them all down. But uh, we'll have fat stacks of cash in the bank by the time that happens. We'll have other things to worry about. Maybe we can buy some fields. Let's head over to that other forestry area. I've got it floored here. We're just waiting on the truck to uh, do its thing. our farm there's a cool kind of derelict barn building here off to the right looks pretty cool maybe even hop out and take a quick look <laughs> that looks cool we'll hop out for a second we're gonna pull in here anyway there's the ponds in the distance let's check out this uh this old barn that's about to collapse on itself Look at that. Pretty cool. We could texture the land and make use of this. <laughs> Store equipment. But it's a little embarrassing. Kind of cool. There's a tub sunk in over here. Nice. Wash basin or something. I'm not sure. Probably has a different name. Pretty cool. Like there is maybe a cell point there off in the back. Not sure what that is. We could take a quick look at the map, I suppose, and see what that what that is. We're way up here in the top left part of the map. Uh, let's see, what is that? It is cereal factory and an oil mill. Guessing that's vegetable oil or something. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff up north. We're, yeah, we got a lot more stuff up there. Back that way. We'll get to it. Not this episode, but we'll get to it. All right, let's get the logging trailer closer to that parcel of land that I'm thinking of buying. We're probably going to buy it. 99% sure. Let's get over there. It's right where the ponce is at, basically. And that's where those, uh, those fir trees or pine trees start. We'll get a little closer. This looks like a way station or something. I'm not sure what that is. That's a cell point. All right. The downside of working over here is just the artificial wall, right? It's a little immersion breaking. But maybe just initially we do this to raise some cash. And we deal with the little wall. Try to ignore it. 
uh, let's look at the map. I'll show you the plot of the land. We own this part down here, and we're right here in this parking lot. And that plot of land is 46,000, and it includes, there's a fair number of trees here, probably more than $46,000 worth. We only need like two truckloads to uh, earn that much, maybe three truckloads. I think we should just buy it, and it's part of us conquering the map. Let's do it. We got the cash. Uh, where is back map overview? Buy. There it is. Buy the land. We're gonna do it. Take a look at how much we own so far. Ideally, we conquer this whole map. We've got a bunch over here. We've got, it's not showing up, but we own all this land kind of right up next to the river, I think. We bought that for free. There might be a little bit of workable land over here. But it didn't cost anything. There's probably other plots we could buy. Yeah, no, this is what we bought. You can kind of see it here. All around the rivers and stuff. Not sure if that's of any use, but it is, I think, the plot that got us this forestry that we're about to do. All right, enough yakking. Let's get to cutting some trees. Making money. I'm going to back up. And I think I'm going to go for the gold and actually take all these trees. Oh, oh, maybe not. Look at this. Look what it's doing. The map can only get so close to that wall. So this first row, of course, this happens after I buy the land. That's all right. We've got flat land here, and it may actually help with immersion not to get so close to that wall. So we can make lemonade out of lemons here and get to making some green. And this is nice, a nice flat plot of land for the logging trailer. So I don't need to use the ponds to move logs so much. I don't think I'm going to be able to work this first row, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, things get sketchy when I get close to that side. So we'll do what we can. It's less trees than I thought. I thought we we're going to get that extra row, but still not a bad piece of land to buy. We can replant trees here. If we buy that really big plot of land, we probably don't even need to uh, replant here. Uh, there's enough room between these. Maybe we just try and do one row all the way down. And then circle back and get the other row. Yeah, that's out of reach. Darn it. Well, let's circle around now and get these. These trees off to the right I'll have to do by hand. In fact, those will probably tear out. I showed you the Lumberjack mod. These ones aren't even worth harvesting in my view. They're, they're so small. Lumberjack mod allows me to just take these out. Just like that, kind of permanently. We could leave them. We'll see. If we decide to plant here, it would make sense to take those out. We're not going to work this land much. Maybe we just leave those for aesthetics. All right, let's get to the row of trees we can do. The, uh, key too many times and see if we can correct with the tree in tow so we don't have to cut this one by hand bring this guy up
Jump off of this log here. Get back to it. What do you think? You think we can get that one? I bet we cannot, but we'll try it. Maybe. Maybe. that problem say this pot seems a little bit lighter weight and smaller than the one I'm used to playing with in farm sim 19 this one is a mod it's not in the base game and the one in farming sim 19 I think was in the base game but we seem to be bouncing around a little bit more than I recall Still works great. There is a uh, tree harvester in the base game, a different brand, Komatsu or something. I'm not sure what it is. We could try that. I'm just used to the plants. The first one I used back in the farm sim 17 days. So I'm kind of at sentimental attachment. see if we can get close to this one. Looks like we're going to be able to. Not sure why that twists on me, but it does happen. to get stuck in that one spot.
I have to know what kind of trees these are. I think these are the ones we're going to want to plant. They seem to be pretty hardy. But not too bad to harvest. Yeah, so I'm going to hop out and just see what this tells us. If I get up close, does this tell me what we got here? Uh, maybe if I pick it up, it will. Spruce. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll get to planting. If they have spruce saplings for us. Let's cut down three or four more and then we will uh, we'll go pick them up with the log trailer and uh, go sell them. We should get decent money for all this, I would think. Hopefully more than enough to pay for the land. A good number of these trees are on land that we got for free and less than I had hoped, but still a few were on that land that we bought for about 45000 So turns out we can't get to all of them. But it's not the end of the world. We've actually, have we actually harvested most of this? Yeah, maybe we'll just finish this off. Not that much here. I think we could plant these a bit denser and not have too much to worry about, but like I said, if we buy that other forestry area, we may not need to bother replanting this area. Oops, I did the same move there. I accidentally hit the button twice, but I think we'll be all right. Let's uh, raise up. And like nothing happened. Hmm. What am I missing? Something? Um, getting weird controls. There we go. And leaning against the border of the map. That's why the tree won't fall. <laughs> We're right on the edge of what we can actually harvest there. Let's see if we can get this cut up safely at a safe distance from our cab. Yeah, there's probably, what, six or seven more trees to do? Oof, sorry about that camera work. We can try this one. It's right at the border of where we can reliably harvest, but maybe, maybe, maybe not. There we go.
be an interesting challenge to try and remove every tree on the map. We're not going to do that. But, boy, if you had lots of time, you could attempt it. And you would have your hands full. There are a ton of trees on this map. Plenty of room for our logging truck to navigate through here, so I'm not too worried about where I'm dumping these piles. If we do plant or replant a little more dense, or if we plant kind of dense over to the left, there's the peninsula we're going to plant for sure. We'll retexture the ground so it all looks normal. Now, if we plant too dense, then it can be a little tricky to harvest. And still leave room for your uh, truck to come pick them up. Yeah, this is right at the edge of what I should be... Doing, but I'm gonna grab this tree anyway. It's probably about four or five thousand dollars, I would guess, worth of log for us. Getting closer to the train tracks, and that's where this is all going to... Oh, well, maybe we can go past the tracks. Let's just cop a quick look here. Let's take Gander. We can likely cross the tracks. However, our logging trailer probably cannot. So we've got land there that we could harvest logs on. But we're going to have to drag the logs across the tracks with the pumps if we want to do it. I think. A little precarious proposition there. Uh, unless I can turn off the trains or something because that is fast. Um, I can check that between episodes. Let's just focus on this area for now. What do we have for... Five trees left. Something like that. I think we're still... Yeah, there's the edge of the map. Let's take out these last four or five trees. And we'll get to selling them. See what we end up with. What our take is on all this work. I'm still going to be cutting manually, cutting down a bunch of trees. Even on this plot of land, there we saw some trees. There might be, I think there's some big ones that are worth harvesting with the chainsaw. I'll do most of that off camera just because it is kind of tedious, but we'll do some of it on camera. So you can get a feel for the work that's being done. To tame this map to meet our needs. This looks like a big one. Yeah, I'm not sure about how I feel about dragging logs across the tracks unless I can uh, turn off the trains. Pretty sure we wouldn't bother replanting over there. A little inconvenient. hard time seeing because that brush hmm what is the issue I'm 
unfortunately, I cannot use the chainsaw to clear the brush. There we go. We got it. Good enough. We'll have to come through here with the stump grinder as well. Maybe do that when we do the other area too. Peninsula off to our left there. We got plenty of stumps to grind over there as well. All right, we're down to, oh, this one's got an extra section here. Last two trees, I think, assuming I can get to this one. Try the hard one first. Might not be able to get to this. Oh, I heard the cutting noise. I don't see the tree coming down. Hmm. Yeah, and once we have that brush in there, it gets a little harder to see. There we go. I got it. Bring it down. Too bad. Beats using the chainsaw, I'll tell you that. Oop, I hear crickets here. It's what, 5.30? Seems like it's a little early for crickets. That is it for this side of the tracks. So I'm just going to move over here closer to the river. This is all land we could plant trees, by the way. I have to come through and clear out this brush, though. It drives me crazy. Let's, uh... Let's, in the interest of time, we'll tab over to our logging truck here and start collecting... I think we're going to go with just one stack. That... Oh, well... Could restack these. Let's try it. Where it's the unload easy. See if we can get a nicer stack if we unload these and reload them. That looks quite a bit better. I think we can... Grab a few more before we tie these down. That's probably good. Let's head out of here. Guessing we'll take these to the heating plant. We know that the carpentry place in town is full. The inventory is full. I mean, we could set the logs off to the side, but I think we want the cash now. So we'll probably just go to the heating plant. The sawmill happens to be full too. We actually have a log cell point right at our farm. Actually, I think it's right next to the farmhouse. 
where we could sell logs. We may do that for trees we cut down that are around the farmhouse. I don't think we're going to make a special trip over there for that. But uh, let's go in the other way. It's a little easier to get out and hit the sail trigger. There is room out here. As we plant trees and stuff, we may want to leave room for mods and placeables. There may be some cool stuff coming in the way of ways we can use these logs other than what we've got in the base map. All right, whoops, I'm actually past the trigger. Let's see if this will take. It did. 27,000. Not bad for one trip. Let's do one more trip and then we, I think we'll call it an episode. Like I said, I've got plenty of work to do between episodes. Cutting down the smaller trees. But I figured this would be a way to get us some quick cash. And the next episode, we're going to have to decide whether we're going to buy that logging land or not. We'll take a look at that in the fields one more time. We got the, um, the two grain silos that we can sell still for extra cash. And then once we sell all of these logs that we just cut down, we will have some options. We should have enough money if we want to buy that huge forestry plot of land. Like I said, it's kind of hilly. It seems like that could be quite a bit of fun to get up in there and take down some of those trees. It'd be rapid revenue. Eventually, we have to put in the time, though, and plant more trees. We'll probably go with spruce. They look kind of nice. And the yield is pretty nice. These are the trees I'll have to cut by hand over here on the left. The smaller ones I'm just going to destroy with the chainsaw. But the bigger ones, I will actually kind of prune them by hand and load them by hand onto the log trailer here. Oops, I'm just passing all the stuff I should be doing here. Let's, uh, let's grab these. Okay, that one got placed a little unfortunately. We'll unload and reload, maybe. Not a ton of logs, but we, we've got a lot. It's going to add up to a fair amount of cash. Let's unload this. Uh, I'm going to bring up the help to remember these keys. Z for unload. B to load. It doesn't want to load. There it goes. That's O to change size. I'm trying to get around this stump if I can. we doing we got room for more again each load of these logs is like what thirty thousand dollars just about we can try to overload this a little bit and see how it works you now i've done that in the past i've really stacked it high <laughs> i really stacked it high all right that's probably enough Let's, can I strap them? Yeah. That top one is going to fall off, isn't it? Let's look. Yeah, it's not in the strap. That could become a problem. Let me hop out. Let's see if I can just, oh, I don't know if I can even get to it. Is it that one? Can I bring it over on this side? Maybe a little lower. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it looks like maybe the autologger just, uh, 
or the auto loader just took it out of my hands, I think, maybe. Let's try it. We'll see if we can get in there. Um Yeah, it's sitting up top, but we'll see. Hopefully it won't roll off in tr well, that's fine. It can go right there. I could probably made it worse, didn't I? And we have two that are rolling. We don't have real far to go. Uh, once we get there and sell, that'll be the end of the episode. Place your bets. Are we going to cross $30,000? Last time it was 27 and change. I'm going to guess we got some big ones here. I'm going to guess 28, 28, seven, 28,700 dollars. Just going to try not to lose that top log here. Uh, that wouldn't be too scary having a logging truck drift into your lane. <laughs> Going 20 over the speed limit. Oh, it's 50 here now. Okay. Five. I gotta slow down for this turn. Try to make it without losing this log. Probably do something with this land off to the left here too. I think that I think we should plant that and use that as forestry land. I'll need to clear those trees. I don't think that's gonna ruin the aesthetic. This is a forestry area. And I believe we own that land. I'm not positive. I'll have to see. I don't think it makes sense to do any farming out this way. We've got those wide open plains. Really all over the map. There's a bunch of places up to the north and to the south that have wide open plains where we can create fields, drop um, cell points and stuff. I'll have to look at the mod hub and see what's interesting. All right, let's see what we get. I said, what, 28.7? Wow, 34, 295. Not bad. I think we just, yeah, we just paid for the piece of land that we bought. Again, we can't do this forever. We got to plant trees and wait for them to grow, pay for the the uh, saplings but not bad for quick profit the yeah next episode we'll decide if we're gonna buy that plot i'm heavily leaning towards doing it i think with the money we make from there we can actually get some more farm equipment get more fields get another tractor all kinds of good stuff but for now let's wrap it here this is glider cat signing off saying thanks so much for watching special thanks to glider cat subscribers Patrons and channel members really appreciate your support of the channel. And also thanks to you that have been sticking with this series and giving the videos a thumbs up. That really does help my tiny channel grow or so I'm told. So I appreciate that. And I'll see you all in the next episode.